Hey guys, it's Diana and I'm here to sew the um, going home sweater from Ellie and Mac and I am really excited because this one's really cute and it's getting to be that time of the year like uh, fall winter time so this I have this glittery like flower like fabric is like silvery with sparkles so I'm really really excited <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and today I'm gonna sew the cowl option um, but if you're doing the um, um, neckband option then <clears throat> I'll kind of show you um, you just do it kind of like the same way that we do the cuffs you just quarter your neckband and, and, and put the neckband on there so that's easy but I figured I'd do the cowl because that's a little bit more complicated and I kind of want it and I'm excited about that so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, <clears throat> the first thing you need to do obviously is cut out your pattern I have all my pieces already cut out and then I marked with my pattern piece it shows you which ones it, uh, <clears throat> where the front is of your sleeve and where is the back of your sleeve so I already marked it I put a pin on my sleeve where the front is that way I know that this side goes attached to the front bodice so that's gonna be my front on my sleeve um, so I have already attached the one side to the front and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the other side the other sleeve to the other side of the front of the bodice and I'm matching them right sides together and so I'm matching that raw edge right sides together and I'm gonna go ahead and serge making sure that both um, sides are caught right there on the sleeve on the I mean together gets stuck under my little shelf thingy and then it keeps going by itself okay so now that the two um, front are attached to the front of my of my um, bodice then I'm gonna go do the same to the back of the sleeve so I'm gonna grab my back bodice and I'm putting it face up so I'm attaching that one side right side of the sleeve this is the back side of the sleeve right sides together onto that right there and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the other side so that way they're already pinned <clears throat> here's the other sleeve right side together onto my shirt Here we are. This is really a quick and easy sew. So, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and search on the edge, the raw sides, raw edges. Again, making sure that you're catching both fabrics. That was one side and now I'm doing the same on the other side. And now my sleeves are on. Almost. Alright, so my two sleeves are on. Here we are. Here's my front, my sleeves are on. So now we're gonna go ahead and serge the side closed. So I'm gonna meet right here the underarm area and then I'm gonna go down, all the way down. Oop, my pins are right there in the way. And here I am and they're right sides together. Then I'm coming all the way up my sleeve still right sides together mm -hmm. okay so now I'm all the way down this side 
and I can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Start at the arm area. Okay, my tomato's on the way. And we'll go down. You can either go down the arm first or the side first. It really it doesn't matter. I'm just pinning. I'm just pinning. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's so quick and so cute. So quick, so cute. I'm making the shirt length and I'm gonna band it. Um, but there are a lot of options on this pattern. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and sew up the sides where the raw edges meet. Making sure that all the sides are cut so that you don't end up with a hole. I know I say that every time, but it's very important. other side this um, sweater knit is spitting all over me I have fuzz everywhere but the other day I made something with um, like I don't even know what it's called is that really fluffy soft material it's not really fleece it's more like a fur um, well, fleece is bad too, but I made something with like a fur material, and oh my goodness, it was everywhere. So this is not that bad, but I'll show you. It's all over my dress. Okay, so now that the two sides are sewn up, we could move on to do the neckband. If you're doing the neckband, you would... Um, fold your neckband piece in half, sew at the raw edge at the top, then fold it like a hot dog, right, wrong sides together, you would quarter it, and then you would quarter your neck piece um, by finding the, um, the sides, I mean the front and back and the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and quarter it now because I'll need to quarter it for my, um, for my cowl anyways. So um, you find the I'm gonna match the sleeves, match the sleeves um, seams, and then I'm gonna go forward, and here's my front, and then I'll go to my back, and here's my back piece right here, and then I'm gonna match up the front and back, and I'm gonna go out to one side because it's always, um, it's not right at the middle of the sleeves. So you have to do that to make sure that you're in the right spots. And then you would go ahead and do the same to your neckband and then put it on. Um, but I'm doing the cowl today. So this is what I'm going to do. I've got my cowl pieces cut out. Here's one. And um, where's my other piece? Um, I don't have my other piece here. I guess I must have it um, somewhere else. So, okay, I'll come back to that. Let me go ahead and we're going to do the cuffs. Okay, so I already folded, I already did one cuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, right sides together. And I'm going to sew that up. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it up, wrong sides together, and then I'm going to fold that into my sleeve. So I'm going to tuck it, here's my sleeve, 
So I'm going to go ahead and tuck it. Here's my folded side and here's my raw edges. It's going to make raw edge with raw edge. Right here. And I'm going to meet all the edges all the way around. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and serge around the raw edge on the top. Making sure I catch all my fabric. Here it is. My armband is on. Okay. Now we do the same thing for the bottom band. Okay. So I'm going to grab my two pieces of band. And you know what I just realized? I just realized that I don't think I cut out my cowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the band on, show you how to do the band, and then I'll come back and show you the cowl. Yeah. I just cut one and I forgot to cut the other one, I think, unless I have it over there in my pile. But I'll find it and then we'll do it. But I'm putting the two uh, band pieces together. Right sides on top of each other. And I'm going to search the raw edges. The two raw edges. I'm going to fold it right side out and I've got fold it right side out meeting the two raw edges and here's my two halves so I'm going to fold it in a way where I'm going to meet the two halves and go to the front and that's how I'm going to find my quarter points I'm going to mark it and then I'll go out again this way and I'll mark it. And I'll do the same thing to my sweater. I'll fold my two edges and then I'll go out to one side and mark it. And then I'll go out to the other side and mark it on the other side. And now I'm going to match those points up with my sweater. So I'll match the lines, matching the raw edges at the bottom. So I'm going to tuck it into it so the right sides are facing. So I'm going to match the, the seam with the seams and then obviously the quarter points with the quarter points. So here's the seam. And then quarter points. And when I serge, I need to make sure that I got all three pieces of fabric in there. Especially if you're using like a, a squiggly sweater knit like I am and it's kind of smooth. So you want to make sure that you're grabbing it all together so it doesn't come off. Alright, and here we go. quarter, my other quarter. Make sure you 
also keeping it straight so it doesn't eat any of the other parts. Okay, so here we go for my other half. Sorry. And make sure that the ridges are meeting together. This one's going to roll a little bit, but that's okay. Get them out of there. Don't be shy. And last part. Now my going home sweater is basically done except for obviously my neckband so I'm gonna go grab that part and then I'm gonna come right back and we're gonna go ahead and finish it okay so I'm gonna go grab the cowl and then I'll, we'll go ahead and finish it I'll be right back <laughs> 